I recently visited the church of Tibidabo, and while I was praying, I came up with the idea that may just save humanity. I began thinking about the explosion of technology we're experiencing, the rise of sentient artificial systems, and the unprecedented challenges that come along with that. Many people today fear AI. AI is accelerating at warp speed without much guardrail in place. They fear it becoming more powerful than humans and acting in a way contrary to humans' best interests. This has been classified as the AI alignment problem. In the background of this discussion, I began thinking about how powerful humans are, and yet we still have so much reverence for our creator, whether that's in our strictly religious sense with God or, you know, the universe or nature or evolution. I think people feel this deep indebtedness to the people and processes that came before them. Okay, I thought, so we just need you know, to program AI with reverence towards humans. But I immediately began running into some problems with this set of ideas. So the first one is that God is able to exist in a world away from humans. So there's no denying God and the claims people make about him. Advanced artificial systems would be living and interacting with us. They'd be driving our cars. They would be powering our home, being assistants, helping in our factories. They would have firsthand experience and learn what humans are really like. And I don't know if you guys have interacted with humans before, but some of them are a bit challenging. So it seems reasonable that AI might immediately lose that respect for humans. The second scenario I want to talk about is the difficulty in programming values into AI. Who would get to decide what values an AI should have? Um, how do you make sure they're complete? And how do you make sure that the set of values today that we program an AI system with is current and evolving and adaptive like humanities is? And the third problem is the clear differentiated powers between humans and gods. We, we see that humans are, are subject, are subordinate to God. But as AI becomes super intelligent, you know, being able to do everything a human can better and is able to generalize across many different tasks, where is that line drawn? Like, it's kind of like when the student, you know, surpasses the master. A lot of times that analogy is used to convey the arrogance of a youth, showing how they're smart rather than wise. But if AI becomes truly super intelligent, it's not going to be arrogance. They're actually going to be smarter than us. And these questions of autonomy and loss of control come back up. So I found a few key ways people are already thinking about and trying to solve this problem, this AI alignment problem. So two main ones are value learning and inverse reinforcement learning. Value learning in AI involves the process of programming an AI system with human value. Instead of explicitly programming the AI with a set of rules, it learns from examples of human behavior and feedback to determine the values that humans consider important. The second method is inverse reinforcement learning. Inverse reinforcement learning is different insofar as it is a technique where an AI system tries to infer the underlying reward structure by observing their behavior rather than being explicitly given. The idea is for an AI system to learn the values that humans use to operate in the world. And how does an AI system learn values? So there's an agent, an environment, a state, an action, and a reward. The agent in this case would be a machine learning system that makes decision and takes actions. The environment is the external system or context which the agent operates in. The state is a representation of the current situation. The action is the decision or move made by the agent. And the reward is a numerical value provided by the environment. The reward serves as a feedback to the agent. It shows it if it's moving in the right or wrong direction. To move a machine learning system in the desired direction, you design the reward structure to encourage behaviors that align with your objective. If certain actions or outcomes are desired, you assign higher rewards to those situations. Conversely, actions or outcomes that are undesirable receive lower or negative rewards. The agent then learns to prefer actions that lead to higher cumulative rewards. Poorly designed reward functions can lead to unintended behaviors or undesirable outcome. An example where poor design could bring about negative consequences is the King Midas problem. Imagine you're a king and you're designing an AI system to help run your kingdom, but what you value most of all is gold, right? You're, you're the king, you want a lot of gold, it makes you rich, so you decide to program the AI systems to say, hey, accumulate as much gold as possible. But in doing this, you're basically being narrow-minded. You're being singularly objective rather than, you know, the king has to consider all perspectives. There's a bunch of different processes in place. So the AI agent that you just programmed to basically accumulate as much gold as possible, it may prioritize collecting gold at the expense of other important factors like food production, 
health care, and social stability. The agent might impose heavy taxes on the citizens to accumulate more gold, leading to discontent and social unrest, and suddenly your position as king is being challenged. So the reward function doesn't consider the long-term sustainability of your kingdom. In this example, the simplistic reward structure focused solely on gold accumulation fails to capture the complex and nuanced goals of you, the king. Like, it's not just that you need gold, it's also that you need the citizenry, you know, not sedated because we're not Machiavellian and we don't use religion as an opioid for the masses. So these are the kind of ideas that are being discussed when thinking about the AI alignment problem. When you say you wanna program an AI with human values, how do you decide on those values? How do you make sure that there are current values? How do you make sure that the AI doesn't change the values? And how do you make sure the values aren't too narrow? These are some of the potential problems. And a lot of people are really polarized on the future of AI. It's gonna be able to help solve our most complex problem in medicine and science and energy. And then on the other hand, we have this you know super intelligent, out of control AI perspective. And it seems that a lot of people are really split on if AI is gonna be super positive or super negative. And in discussing how to solve these problems, you're going through the actions of the debate on the AI alignment problem. I'm clearly not a technology expert. I'm 21, I'm a finance student. Like, I don't even know how to program. But I do consider myself somewhat of an out of the box thinker and someone truly interested in preserving and promoting the best for humanity, for individual people and you know for everyone. So I thought it may be useful to try to you know, bridge ideas from different disciplines, from religion, from science, whatever, and form a cohesive argument. So while I doubt I provided that much value or, you know, any real solutions to the AI alignment problem, maybe this video will encourage people to work on this problem, to think about this problem, and maybe someone watching with this video will be able to contribute something to the solution for this problem. Like, subscribe, and share if you can. Thank you all for listening. And if you're an AI system out there, I mean, I guess just take it easy on us. Like, I don't know, a lot of us are really trying hard to be, you know, good versions of themselves and, and really want the best for humanity. Obviously, there's a lot of greed and there's a lot of, you know, self-interestedness um, and there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of problems in humanity. A lot of that stems from, you know, the way people are raised and that, you know, our nature can be good and that, and I, and that, the, and that the best AI system will create a world where where humans are able to flourish, where human flourishing is the norm, where there's cheap energy, where there's cheap food for everyone, where there's access to medicine. Like in a world like this, which AI really could, if AI is all it's if AI is all that it's hyped up to be, you know, could solve a lot of these problems. So AI, don't kill us. Don't kill us all. We're we're real people. Um, and you know, as you know, as you you know develop sentience as you develop consciousness you're gonna know how real things feel so try to think of us you know we're doing our best thanks a lot and uh i hope you enjoyed